C5 versus DeFi. It's the latest tribal war in crypto, and it pits the future of decentralized finance trading on decentralized exchanges or DEXs against the legacy crypto exchanges many of us use once upon a time. The differences between trading on a DEX and a KEX, like Coinbase, used to be extraordinarily different. DEXs were clunky, slow, and without liquidity, which eliminated the vast majority of the crypto trading world. But then Uniswap launched in October 2018, and things have never been the same since. Now, it feels inevitable that everyone will eventually trade on DEXs, and the centralized crypto exchanges well, they seemingly have much more to lose in this race. First, let's call attention to the major differences between KEXs and DEXs. On a KEX, you give up control of your assets to trade on the exchange, but in DEXs, you never have to do that. But you do have to self-custody assets in an Ethereum wallet like Metamask. Now, this might sound like a win for DEXs, but for those who don't trust themselves self-custodying, a KEX might actually be ideal. KEXs historically have had exponentially more liquidity and more trading volume, but recently in 2020, DEXs have actually begun to outperform some KEXs in trade volume, with Uniswap booking $200 million in daily trade volume regularly in the fall, and up to over $2 billion traded in a single day. DEXs can be thought of as community-owned. Anyone can provide liquidity and then earn trading fees in the pool versus in KEXs, there's a centralized team that runs the exchange and makes all the revenue. KEXs offer customer support, and in many cases, excluding the bad actors and scammers, of course, they provide a service custodying funds for traders. But in DEXs, there's often no form of customer service. But there is a growing standard of having access to a team through a Discord group. Gaining access to DeFi team support has been a major advancement in 2020. Finally, KEXs require sign up with email, and in most cases, KYC. DEXs? Don't. Just connect your Ethereum wallet and go. You can trade frictionlessly and peer-to-peer. -peer. Now, this isn't about a battle between DEXs and KEXs anymore. It's about the expansive growth opportunity in DeFi trading. And with DEXs, that's seemingly impossible to stop. You've been watching DeFi 101. Do be sure and check out the other videos in the series and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the new videos as they drop. And above all, stay safe out there.